Hello and welcome to another Maybe Story 2 video and today we're going to talk a little bit more about the updated version I made now. It's, uh, it's the version 3 now and I know it's a bit tedious that you guys had to go through all the images and all the you know misinformation or you know uh, a little bit more uh, confusing parts and I've gotten questions for example in the previous video regarding where's the blade master uh, blade um, what's the class now rune blader uh, what's the rune blader's uh, weapon in the list etc unfortunately it does it wasn't available in the website in maplestory 2 guidecom by Sudigo uh, so I decided to just you know add in the stats uh, that I thought or I've seen people have been using or asked around as well uh, but uh, as you can see there's something new over here we added something green in the screen we did remove the part on the right side with the uh, the crossed out section uh, so let's get it started let's get going so we added up a lot of more uh, orange dots and that's obviously for the secondary stats that you want to pick for your uh, for your weapon, for your equipments, etc. So we did add in, for example, shields. It's only knights that can use them, so it's obviously strength you can go with as a secondary. Physical attack, uh, piercing is going to be your main. Physical piercing is also a bit iffy. You don't have to go for it because there's a cap of 10 or in, to 15%. So uh, be careful with that, uh, with the amount of physical piercing you're stacking. Um, we also have boss damage, total damage. Uh, we included total damage now because there was a question regarding why not total damage and uh, because you can use it against all the enemy types etc. Uh, and for my answer for that is uh, boss damage is easier to scale uh, because it, I think it has a higher multiplier or something. It, it has a different formula, that's what I believe uh, when it comes to these two stats, total damage and boss damage. So if you are raiding I would uh, assume you want to go with the boss damage in general. Um, as you've seen here first on the dagger for example, I added a green dot which is the poison damage. I don't know if uh, poison works out like super well for uh, thieves at the moment but I added it as a green dot because it's depending on the class uh, as you can see on the bottom here. Um, other classes such as um, priest you can go with holy damage as well to increase your damage with other spells of holy spells. Um, throwing stars uh, for assassins, if you're going with the shadow build, you are going to want to have some uh, dark damage. However, my best recommendation would be critical damage and piercing. And the reason for that is uh, you have fatal strikes. As an assassin, you have fatal strikes that gives you 100% crit. So increasing that uh, critical damage will you know, increase your overall DPS. Um, as for uh, two-handed sword, uh, yeah, it's li literally the same thing uh, with every other weapons that doesn't have any elemental benefits. I mean, you could argue about dark damage, but I would rather focus on the raw damage that you can get out of uh, a berserker. For codex, same thing here: holy damage, magic piercing, etc. Uh, it's you know depending on the class what you want. For staff wizards, they use mainly fire spells, so fire damage is really really helpful for them. Uh, for some reason, I think uh, archers are using rapid shot, and rapid shot counts as fire damage. So having fire damage will also increase your damage uh, in general when you use that ability. Uh, and for Rune Blader, uh, you get the blade, obviously piercing is what you're going to focus on. Whatever you get as a secondary, it's up to you. Try to not stack too much physical piercing. Uh, electric damage is a good option, because uh, majority of the Rune Bladers out there are using the uh, wind blade, or whatever it, it's called, the wind effect, or lightning um, sigil. And with that, your, all your abilities are electric damage, so you try to... If you want to focus on that, try to aim for that if you do have a uh, maxed out stat for piercing and electric damage, for example. Uh, that's also something you could think about with uh, cannons, for example. I did not place it over there because I'm really unsure. There is fire damage as well, but I believe you only use a few abilities and then you're going to be on cooldown. Um, so I would rather just go with raw damage on the cannons for heavy gunner. Um, as for equipments, I did add up one extra dot, and that's on accuracy. Uh, 
I mean, if you're really unlucky and you, you don't want to roll anymore, accuracy is also a good option for you to have as a secondary stats. Um, gloves, it's still the same. You want to go for the physical or magical piercing, and then you can choose boss damage as a secondary stats, which is obviously something you want to stack. Uh, shoes is also part of the armor set where you have accuracy access as well. So going for accessories, you may notice now a lot of green dots. So the main stat is piercing, obviously, that you want to have on your accessories. Uh, secondary stats, you could go for damage to boss if you want to go, you know, focusing on overall damage. You can then also go for attack speed to lower the cooldowns of some of your abilities. Or you can use uh, elemental damage depending on your class as well. I added critical damage now and, you know, melee damage and range damage as uh, depending on class. Because obviously you are playing either a melee or a phys or a um, ranged DPS. Uh, and then you also have critical damage, which is, I believe, only worth for assassins at the moment. Uh, but you know you can argue about it if you want to. Uh, if you fr prefer having a lot of crit on your character, or you feel like you're dealing a lot of damage with crit, uh, then you know, critical damage could work as well for any other classes as well. But it's most likely recommended for uh, assassin. Uh, something I added on the right side, on the far right, uh, I changed it to 90 plus so it doesn't look overwhelming because uh, everyone starts off at around 80% or 80 accuracy and I know 100 accuracy is a little bit overkill for now so I lowered it to 90 plus. Uh, the recommendation is around 90-ish and then you can get buffs from your guild and whatnot. You'll, you'll get some extra accuracy from, uh, for example, Sharp Eye. Uh, that leads up to 100. So having 90 plus is a good amount of um, accuracy. Uh, and that's before or included with gemstones, that is. So going down here, uh, we can see it's the same thing here. I added a little bit more green dots and hopefully it will clear out the um, choices that you can choose for your uh, class. I know it's a little bit uh, vague with the previous one, hopefully this one is a little bit more clear for you guys when it comes to uh, which stats you want to focus on. I know there's a lot of stats that benefits us a lot depending on your class, uh, but yeah, go with whatever uh, you will focus most likely on. And the thing over here on the right side regarding the uh, image uh, of ability or of um, Equipments and such. I removed the part with the Notamon earrings because I felt like that wasn't uh, worth getting. So I added Old Fairy's Belt. So Old Fairy's Belt is something new uh, you might have seen. You can see the stats over there. It's tremendously really OP. Uh, but it is available only for two weeks before it expires. And to obtain this, you need to do Dark Descent. Um, when you do Dark Descent, you want to aim for being the top 10 players. And when you're in the top 10, by the end of the second week, you are going to get uh, a mail, um, you will get the old fairy spelt uh, to use for uh, two weeks. So try to, I guess that's the competitive part and you're know, trying to be OP then yeah, uh, aim for the belt over here. It is an expiring item so if you don't want to deal with that, uh, you know, you're having some minor loss but you can always get an absolute belt and uh, you know, be fine with it or savagery belt. So that covers up the uh, list, I guess, uh, the updated version, the version 3. I'll link the image uh, in the description below for the album. You're going to need to right-click, copy the image uh, address or URL, and then copy-paste it on your browser to be able to uh, zoom in, as you can see here. Um, but I'll leave the album or the image in the image or um, website in the description below. Now going off with a secondary uh, thing that I would like to talk on this video. Um, there is a post called MapleStar 2 Fact in the Reddit. It's been uploaded 11 days ago by Blink, uh, aka Saints1. And he's the uh, uh, he's been a Korean player, veteran player. He's a knight, as you can see on the image or icon. He made a frequent, frequently asked question uh, for MapleStory 2 on Reddit. So if you drop by the Google Doc sheet, it's still in progress and you guys can you know look up around and see 
if there's any valuable information that you can find uh, that you have questions about. And this is catering towards um, pretty much overall everything. And um, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop by his stream. He will stream it uh, now, uh, now and then, uh, whenever he goes online. You know, he will notify. And if you are on the official Discord, you are gonna have that Discord channel as well, where you see him post when he's live as well. So something I would like to cover up over here is um, you can now check what you can do every day. I know I made a video regarding my daily routine, uh, but this is a little bit more detailed if you want to go into you know end game stuff that you can improve yourself and progress yourself for the chaos raids. Um, something I would check and compare, for example. I believe it was a little bit lower. Um, you can check this. Uh, I will leave this in the description below as well. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, what are the five point or the physical and magical piercing gloves? Uh, there are some five point four blue uh, gloves that you can get with Trevor, and uh, you can get these fairly cheap uh, by just farming in the PVP zone or Shadow World. And uh, with that, you will be able to farm up for the gloves, if you don't have any other better gloves that you want to RNG for. Um, it's just a temporary item, but uh, once you get the purple item with 5.4% physical and magical piercing glove, you can ignore this part or farming the uh, Shadow World uh, gloves because it's, it is a lower item level and it's also uh, lower defense. So you are going to lack of defense, but you're also going to get a pretty high uh, piercing or physical and magical piercing stats from this um, let's see right regarding stats for each classes um, as we all mentioned or most of the people that's been talking about it um, your main class is going to go with your main stats uh, going anything with crit uh, it does increase the attack uh, on these you know on the paper or on the profile page but uh, it doesn't take factor, as it says over here, towards uh, your you know, overall damage that you dish out. Because um, you, know, you might not be lucky critting a lot, so your attack might be lower than what it actually says on the screen. So there's that. And then best stats, as he mentioned over here, 30% piercing, 88 to 90 accuracy before you have buffs from, you know, uh, from an archer, from a from the uh, guild house buff, etc. And then he covered up the elemental damage where it says fire is for archer, ranger, slash uh, wizard, holy for priest, electric for rune blade, and dark for assassin if you're playing with dark sh uh, shadow art build. Um, crit damage assassin only in caps, so be aware of that. Um, physical main attack and main stat is also a good uh, stat that you can pick for your gear. Physical and magic pierce up to 10%, melee and range damage, boss damage, total damage, and then attack speed. So that will be my backbone, I guess, my resource for all the information I've got. If you have more questions, feel free to ask Saints1. He does have a YouTube channel as well, but I think he's more active on Twitch. Uh, but yeah, this is all I have to go with. But if you do want to have an uh, easy way or all in one with image, uh, then feel free to use mine. Uh, otherwise, if you want to have a text format in the Google Doc sheet, I'll link it as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's been a couple of days bef since I stopped making videos, but uh, I'm having some break as well. So hopefully you guys will have fun uh, on your weekend and hopefully you will have a lot of purple loots as well. I will do some giveaway very soon. Uh, for YouTube instead of doing it on Twitch um, but uh, that's gonna yeah it depends so if you do leave your comments uh, you might be entering a raffle and I'll try to do a giveaway uh, recording it etc on the rolling part and um, hopefully we'll get some purple loots for some people as well either you use it for your alts because it's tradable only once or you can use it for gearing up your main if you haven't gotten your purple loot yet for hot dungeons but yeah thank you very much for watching uh, it's been a pleasure to make these uh, 
imagery of uh, stats and such. I apologize if uh, it was a little bit vague and you know uh, the information was a little bit uh, off when it comes to uh, which stats is best for your class or for your character. Uh, hopefully this will be a little bit better and hopefully um, it's acceptable among the community as well. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.